Last season, after the collapse of the European Super League, the anti-Glazer protests were powerful. Manchester United fans made a real difference. The Liverpool game was postponed. Thousands descended upon Old Trafford and the Lowry. Two protests at once. You saw the video I made on it. It's a video I'm very proud of, and I'm proud of the United fans that made a difference there. Then the sponsorship boycott came afterwards. You saw the situation with Team Viewer on TripAdvisor. One of only a number of examples there. The Hutt Group pulled out of a sponsorship deal for Manchester United's training kits. And you saw when we returned for preseason, there was no sponsor on that kit. Man United, Man United fans made such a difference with those protests. And it did impact Manchester United and it impacted the Glazers. It did make a difference. It made a difference by hitting the Glazers where it hurts, in their pockets, with how much money they're making out of it, because we know they're greedy. And then this summer happened. We signed Varane, we signed Sancho, and then we signed Ronaldo. Now, I've been told that Man United had planned all summer to sign Ronaldo and that we'd laid a trap for City to walk into, to wait for them to come in and be interested in the player so we can go over the top of them and damage City. I, I wish that was the truth. I hope that is the truth. But it also might just have been the perfect dream signing for the Glazers. Because as The Athletic showed in an article this morning, the commercial value of signing Cristiano Ronaldo was absolutely huge. On an average day, the Instagram account puts on 30,000 new followers. On the day we signed Ronaldo, that, has, that was 800,000. Since then, we signed 3.1 million. There were over 700,000 more interactions on Twitter with United re-signing Ronaldo than there was with Messi going to PSG. Ronaldo dwarfed everything. It's the biggest ever transfer that's happened in terms of the interactions on social media. And that, that means a lot to the Glazers. It doesn't mean a lot to us fans, but it means a lot to the Glazers. And as Red Billy showed in the article we did on these numbers and looking at what's going on, maybe the Glazers have won. They got their sponsors back. They got the fans off their back. There's been a huge spike in the share price. Their investment's gone up massively in value since we signed Cristiano Ronaldo. So it begs the question, is all the work that United, all the great work that United fans did last year, all of us together with the protests and what we did, has all that work been reversed by Manchester United signing Ronaldo? Have the protests now been muted? Will the Glazers now just continue their stranglehold over Manchester United? Have they won? That's the question I want to ask you in the comments. Please let me know what you think about this before I continue in this video, because it's important to have this discussion. Signing Ronaldo is unreal. Genuinely still don't particularly believe it until I see him walking out against Newcastle on the 11th of September. But you know my stance on the Glazers. I've paused my season ticket this year. I'm not buying anything official. Well, not that I do anyway, but I'm doing what I can and you're doing what you can in the anti-Glazer movement. But the question has to be asked as to whether or not have they won right now by re-signing Ronaldo? Do you think that everything's going to go down and go muted? Oh, hell no. I don't think so. I think we have a responsibility now as Manchester United fans to make sure that signing Ronaldo doesn't just give the Glazers a get-out-of-jail-free card. And remember, back in 2010 when we protested, we were in the middle of winning the Premier League three times in a row. We were in the middle of being in the Champions League in three out of four years, in the Champions League final, sorry. And we won it in 2007-8. So Man United fans, when we protested in 2010, it wasn't because we weren't winning anything. It, was, it wasn't because we weren't happy with the football. It was because we were anti-Glazer and we wanted our football club back. And we have to remember that this year with Cristiano Ronaldo because hell yeah, we're all happy that Cristiano Ronaldo is back at the club, but don't let it pull the wool over your eyes. We have to remember the end game here. We have to remember that the Glazers still have taken over a billion pounds out of Manchester United and have been the shackles on our club whilst we've sat there and watched City exert a new dominance in Manchester. We've sat there and we've watched Chelsea come out of nowhere with all the money that they've injected into the club and have Manchester United not rested on their laurels in that period of time. Maybe we would have at least slowed down that progress. But City are now huge by comparison of where they were before. And we've allowed that. Manchester United have allowed that under the Glazers. 
So I, I just wanted to do this video because I think it's an it's important for us to have the conversation. Now that the dust is slightly settled on Renato, it hasn't really settled, he hasn't even played for United yet, but it's it's something that means a lot to me. And I, it's something that means a lot to a lot of you as well. It's how much we all hate the Glazers, how much I fucking hate the Glazers and what they've done to Manchester United and the leeches that they are as owners. Because I know what's going to happen this season and I'm already pissed off about the arguments I'm going to have to have with people saying, how can you be annoyed with having the Glazers as your owners? You've just signed Varane, Sancho and Ronaldo. And it's just, it's going to annoy me. It's really going to piss me off. So the questions are now, what will happen to the protests this year? I personally think that there might be something getting planned around the Champions League games. That's something we didn't have last year. Well, we did in the start and then we got knocked out. But we didn't have, by the time the protests came around after the Super League, we're going to have them this year. That's when different eyes are on us. UEFA's eyes are on us. There's more cameras around Old Trafford. There's a bigger opportunity again there for United to make an impact and make a difference. I don't think we'll ever get a game postponed again because I think the club would have learned from what happened with the Liverpool game. They massively underestimated the power of fan protest. That was the best example you will ever see of fans protesting and getting their message across by stopping the biggest game in English football. But what we have to do now as a, as a collective fan base is remember that signing Ronaldo, signing Varane, signing Sancho does not take away from the fact that the Glazers are horrendous owners of our club. Over a billion is left on interest repayments, on servicing the loan that they forced onto our club by buying us on a leverage deal back in 2005. Signing Ronaldo doesn't change that. Just remember that, okay? That's why I wanted to do this video as a message to the Glazers about Ronaldo, about the protests. They're not going to go away. I'm not going away. You're not going away. They won't go quietly. United fans, as Roy Keane said. These fans are deadly serious and there's more to come. This is just a start of it from United fans. I guarantee you. That was just a start. And we will continue as a collective fan base to force feed the anger back towards the Glazers because they fucking deserve it. I wanted to say my piece on that. I want I want to hear your opinion in the comments below. What do you think? Have the Glazers won? Is this now going to be a situation where the protests aren't going to gain as much momentum as they did last year? You let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But please subscribe to United People's TV if you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you leave your comments down below about the Glazers, but just make sure you keep doing what you can do because until the Glazers leave, we won't have Manchester United Football Club back. We will just be a business.